Yes, so we have the gizzard already on fire. And just to give you a quick run through of what went down here. So Chef Isioma had, she grated the um, ginger, which is actually the first time I saw, I've seen someone grate ginger. Usually I see people chop no, the ginger, but ginger. I'm definitely going to try that because I think it just makes it, you don't get to chew it. In and it's food. faster. Oh yeah, it's faster. <laughs> Okay, so now we would probably just run through the menu for how you can make your own um, potato gizzard porridge. We have salt, onion, ginger, gizzard, spring onions, vegetable oil, seasoning cubes, curry, garlic, carrot, thyme, bell peppers, Irish potatoes, and green peppers. So with these ingredients, you can definitely get yourself an amazing pot of Irish potatoes and gizzard porridge. porridge. Now, this the, I've been trying to give people Christmas alternatives instead of rice. So, would you make this for Christmas? Definitely. Oh, it's I something will. you would make. Yes, oh, yes, okay. Yes, yes. So there you have it, guys. This is a quick alternative for Christmas. So, if you want to try something else this year, you do not want to do rice or anything that you do conventionally every every Christmas. This should also be an alternative. So now, how much would it cost approximately to make this? Um, about 3,000 naira. 3,000, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, I wouldn't say that's cheap, but that's quite affordable. Yes, and it's going to serve like four people. Four people? Yes. So you can, in, if um, for Christmas, someone can like to add maybe a chicken. Yes, yeah, smoked chicken. Smoked chicken. Turkey and the turkey, rest. Turkey, okay, okay. Um, what, what else? So the chicken could be shredded, yeah? Yes. It could be shredded. Chicken, chicken breast. Chicken yeah. breast. Mm, okay, interesting. So now, how long are we going to leave this on fire? Um, 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes, because we've done like um, seven, 10, 10 minutes 10 already. Minutes already yeah. So 20 more minutes. 10 more minutes. Oh, 10 more minutes. Yes. Okay. And then what goes in next? The potato will go in next. Okay. So I'm just going to add um, like a cup of water and then add the potato. So you're going to cook everything together? In one pot, in yes. In one pot, so yes. you don't remove anything no, at any no, point? No, no, Oh, okay. So we're going to get all this chopped. I'm going to chop this as well. When we come back, we're going to see how far we've progressed in making our potato porridge. Thank you, Jack Porridge. Yes. <laughs> Yummy, so I was thinking, yeah, in the spirit of your birthday, we should probably call this the yummy potato. Porridge. <laughs> the yummy potato gizzard porridge. What do you think? Okay, so now we are put, we've um, allowed this to boil, the gizzard to boil for approximately 20, 20 minutes. minutes. So now we're going to put in our ingredients, starting with the potato. potato. So I'll just be passing it to you. Thank so you. So my hand is inside. <laughs> Okay, so I was thinking, yeah, if you don't want to use the gizzard at all, mm -hmm. what could you put? Um, you can use chicken, like chicken we said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken Just breast, chicken. chicken. Yeah, you can use chicken. You can use turkey, you can use beef. Oh, okay, so we could probably like dice the yes. turkey. Okay, yes. cool. What are we putting next? Um, I'm putting my pepper the peppers, and okay. my carrot. Oh, so you're putting everything all at once? Um, aside the green pepper the green and peppers. the spring onion. And spring, okay, okay. No, but I think for people who, I like my carrot crunchy, so I probably mm. want to put it like at the tail end. Is that fine? Or you yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, okay. Vegetable oil. Yeah. Two okay, cubes, so seasoning cubes. cubes. Okay. I like, I like the idea that it's one pot because <laughs> you know how when you're doing your dishes, mm -hmm. you wash everything, then you leave the pot for like, <laughs> for like five hours. <laughs> because Just you're trying one to pot. decide yeah. whether or not, but this is a nice idea. One pot, guys and it gets all the job done. So curry. Okay. And thyme. And now are these the only seasonings or no. seasoning freaks can have more? Uh, this, this is just the only the seasoning. The basic right? yeah. seasoning, yes. okay. So. Now you mentioned something when we were off air about coconut milk. Yes, you can add coconut milk to it. Okay. But I just don't like coconut no. milk no. and <laughs> gizzard. <laughs> okay, you don't like coconut milk and, and gizzard. gizzard. Okay. So we, you could do coconut milk and chicken? Yes, 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 oh, Okay, so chef says she doesn't like coconut milk <laughs> and gizzard. So you may not want to try that. So you don't say Tokwe said. <laughs> so the reason I didn't add a lot of water is because yeah. I don't want it to be watery. Okay. So I want it to be thick. So I'm just okay. going to cover this up now and allow it to cook for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, so that the potato can be 
soft. So by the time I'm done with that, I'll just add the green pepper and the spring onion. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now, um, if people like it thick, mm -hmm. do they get to put thickness or it just has to be like this? It's going to be thick on its own. It's, it's thick on yeah, its own yeah. also, it doesn't need... Yeah. Oh, okay, so... so... you just don't put enough water, don't put too much too water. Too much water. Yeah. Okay, if you want it to, to, to be like individual potatoes, not mashed together, mm. you just put minimal water. Yes. Okay, so you do minimal water. And if you want to put coconut milk, because I think I want to put coconut milk, to be honest, <laughs> but I will not try that with gizzard, because I don't know why chef... I just really don't like gizzard and coconut milk. <laughs> okay, I just... so we could try um, coconut milk and chicken. Yeah. Because I, I think that would be a nice recipe. So for Christmas, guys... Or shredded beef. Or sh oh, that's true, like the thin strips. Mm, mm -hmm. Yes. But how about for Christmas? I mean, if we have like 5K, mm. since this is three... <laughs> you can add shrimps if you want. Hey, this is going to be some yummy... Yummy meal yummy for Christmas. Christmas meal. <laughs> okay, so we're leaving this for 15 minutes. So what about um, red bell peppers? Um, I just like to go with the green with the one. Green. So and if the you want to put red, yellow. Yes, you can, you can put, put all of that. Just make it colorful. As colorful as you want because this is Christmas. So Christmas is usually green and red. So you mm -hmm. can have green and red bell peppers. Right, right, yes. right, right. This is Chef Tokwe here. Ha, <laughs> please give me some credit. So I would really love you all watching to actually put... Um, to share your videos with us and use the hashtag wake up nigeria so we can see how you interpreted your own potato and gizzard porridge okay so we're Thank keeping you. this for 15 minutes 15 minutes mm -hmm. okay by the time we come back it's done okay so you know what we're going to do for people who just joined let's quickly run through the menu so you can also start yours at home whenever it's comfortable for you so we're starting off with the irish potatoes and then we have gizzard, gizzard. and we have the green peppers, peppers spring, and onion. spring onions your seasoning thyme. cube thyme curry vegetable carrots. oil carrots garlic which is put at the beginning um, bell peppers, green peppers, carrots, onion, white onion, 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 white onion, green onion, whichever, <laughs> <laughs> whichever it gives you fit. So, and this menu can actually be, be uh, can actually be made with as little as three thousand naira. I, I told I like this because it's very um, budget friendly. I mean, for Christmas and people who aren't so stable financially can definitely. I can serve four people. Oh, we can serve four people. You see, so this is really cool. So you know what? We're going to go on a break. And we will be back and you will see what, how we're going to add other things. I chopped my Irish potatoes and added. Okay, to... all right. So it looks like a very simple process. But what's the most difficult part about this? Where could it go wrong? Hmm? Um, hmm. Your water. Oh. If you okay. add too much water to it and then the potato gets very soft. All right, yeah. all right. So I love porridge to be extra soft so you didn't want it to be very soft it's actually soft but it okay. can become very soggy so how soft is it i, I need to you okay. know uh, uh, find out myself you know please uh, i want to find out how soft it is you know i just said uh, uh, it's part of the job you know i know that's too much that's too much <laughs> just a little and then uh, you know is the gizzard soft too no, yes. i don't know i'm just trying to you know be be very thorough you know while I, while i'm being thorough tell me what sort of health benefits uh, <laughs> You can find from from what we've made today. Okay, so we're using vegetables mm -hmm. and it's vegetable oil and all of that. So okay. very minimal oil all right. that we added to it. Just very is oil essential though? Do you have to have oil in this just meal? Very little, yeah. very yeah, just very okay, little. Very little. Very Okay, so without the oil, it wouldn't be exactly the right consistency you're looking yeah, for. You can make it without the oil, but I just like to add oil to mine. So when we're talking about proteins, what yeah. other proteins could I have used for this? Shredded beef. Okay. Shredded chicken. Okay. You can use fish if you hmm. want to. Hmm. But it's potato and gizzard porridge. All right. So some people like to make it seem like, you know, they were the first people to do this recipe. Mm. Is this yours or did you, you know, hear about it from somewhere and then decide to copy it or adjust it to your own taste? Um, it's a friend that came up with it and okay. taught me about it. Okay. And you have it on your menu where, where sorry, the name of your outfit again? Brelons. Brelons. So Brelons. you use it on your Brelons yes, menu? Yes, yes. Okay. It's one of my best sellers. Uh, are you serious? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I know that um, we have the list of ingredients, mm -hmm. um, but I can see green peppers, I can mm -hmm. see rodo in there, mm -hmm. gizzard, of course, potatoes. Carrots. Carrots. Yes, that's one I love. I love for my kids. My kids love carrots. And I have a feeling I'm going to be trying out this recipe myself. You like it, actually, and your kids will like it. All right, it's actually then. very nice, I'm feeling. So I'm going to try and make Tokwe and Mike a little jealous by tasting this food first. Because I was talking, I couldn't taste it. But uh, thank you very much. 
I'm now, we are celebrating, though, you know, because um, this Please woman was away. named after Ah, ah good morning. Welcome. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. You don't chop? <laughs> <laughs> well, watch you eat your spread. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. So we have thank you. Chef Isi, who made... So she originally, she planned to make potato gizzard porridge. So this was a mistake. No, no, the new name is Yum Yum Potato Gizzard Porridge. <laughs> okay, why is it Yum Yum? Because yeah. we're celebrating She's... Yummy's okay, birthday. Okay, exactly. Yummy's birthday made it yeah, Yum Yum. yum. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, All right. Can, quickly tell us what we have here. My why Lord. I would have thought that. It, no, I'm giving it to you. Me. <laughs> yeah, because no, it's no. birthday. No. Why, why don't you enjoy, enjoy the song? Yes, Thank mm. you. I enjoy yeah. your meal. <laughs> <laughs> All right.